open the door and it opens into this room that's filled with shelves and the shelves are filled with these glass tubes hundreds of tubes line these shelves each one with a golden yellow light a good majority of them have this golden yellow light and others have a dull blue light in them as well but that is all that's in this room besides another door off to your right you get the feeling that this is a good collection of souls <laughs> yes but yes leo dan i'm i I'm just gonna do it just because I'm feeling impulsive at the moment. Uh, I'm just gonna go knock over one of the yellow glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I was totally gonna do the same thing. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just releasing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you knock it down. Uh huh. It falls and it shatters, and there is this wispy. Okay, you just did it again! <laughs> ah! Make, let me do my sound if I stab you! <laughs> but you hear like a moaning and groaning noise as this spirit just kind of flies out and dissipates with no soul, uh, no, it is a soul, with no body or vessel containing it. It just dissipates and is gone. Can I take my axe and just kind of shoot like across the sh a shelf? Uh, as you do this, a cacophony of cries and screams and whispers and everything as you release a... Which is like, because we're, we're releasing souls, right? Yeah. yeah. As you like release things. seven <laughs> different vials of these souls, just as they fly up and out. Should we do the rest? I'm just gonna take one. <laughs> <laughs> Into my pocket. Right down, you have a collected soul in your inventory. Excellent. I want, a, uh, I want do you a take blue one and a yellow one. All right. <laughs> uh, a perfect collected soul and a collected soul. Okay. All right. Seeing him, seeing him do it, I'm going to do the same thing. <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Hilara's just standing there like, oh. Hey, Hilara. Roll me an Arca Arcana check. Oh, Okay. Ooh, four. <laughs> you get this feeling. You you look at the golden light, the golden balls of light in the tubes, and you're just just a uh, like you feel short of breath, and that's it. Okay. Um. But, so she just kind of says, "Some. I think we should just get this over with." As she's like. Trying to get more air in her. Mm. All right. Um. You know what? I agree. Let's go finish this, and then we can fiddle with the remaining souls. <laughs> there is a door to your right. Before Amelia walks to the door, she'll push her over like another couple. <laughs> <laughs> just one. Just one final. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> it's like what's the, the scene from Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> <laughs> all right uh do you guys open the door yeah all right. amelia will try it is unlocked and you open the door and there is a staircase leading up with a very pointed look at what is your name Liu Dan. Liu Dan. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, with a very pointed look to go, my mother said if I don't have anything nice to say, I shouldn't say anything at all. <laughs> just walk on. <laughs> Sorry, wait, what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> I can open doors. <laughs> you guys open up this door, and in front of you is a tall uh, staircase um, that just straight up 
curves, you know, a typical little spiral staircase, torches on the side, and a purple, it's like a, a purple rug going up the stairs. I'm Amelia, I'll walk up. That's, yeah. I'm meeting, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You guys walk up the stairs. Leo Dan? Uh, no, I'm just going to stay down here for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sad. <laughs> Collecting the souls. Ludan just sits <laughs> down. Lighting the place on fire down here while you guys are watching. <laughs> he, he grabs one of the tubes. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just picks one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> one. So... I won't get into that. I won't get into it. No, I'm not going to get into the, what happens if you attempt to do that. Um, all right. So you guys start walking about like a minute. It's a long climb. You guys come across this picture. A picture of a figure in long black clothes, a priest clothes, a hood covering his head and a mask covering his face and his arm is just outstretched palm up Hilara you recognize this man this is the man <laughs> that okay. I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying to be creepy and you're over here <laughs> laughing sorry. like the Joker I, I am so sorry <laughs> Can we do that? I am so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. We're fine. We're all tired. We're all good. I'm going to sip my soda. Lay down mold with a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it open. I saw, I saw the notification. It just made me laugh. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Picture. Hand outstretch. And it's just there. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Right. What do you guys do? Hello? Uh, hello? How do I recognize him from the vision? From the vision. Okay. Do I know, was he the guard? This was the man that approached you and cast that weird spell on you. It made it feel oh. like your face was peeling and said that he would see you real soon. That those were those last words specifically ring true in your mind. See you real so, soon. Oh. So I tell the other two, I was like, you got to be very careful with him. He'll peel your face off, and you'll be in unbelievable pain. Sorry, I, I'm just not going to gloss over that. I, how do you know this? <laughs> I may have seen it for I met you guys. Hey, Halara. When? Yes. This is a picture of someone. Picture. This is a likeness. The likeness of someone. Isn't there something that you can do with the likeness of someone? So how do I use that? So you would have to use this picture as okay. the f as, oh, a, no. as a focus. Bad idea. Bad idea. As no, an no, no. item that you can potentially use to scry in if but you have to focus on the picture of this person. Okay. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna ask Amelia and Leodon to have my back while I'm doing it. I'm just going to go on the record and say that this is not a great idea. But I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> you stole some souls, so I think this is okay. <laughs> what is your wisdom modifier? My wisdom modifier is plus three. Okay. Oh, wait. I have it in front of me. I'm sorry. Oh. So you reach out and okay. where you grab, like, are you like 
touching the photo? Where, where, where are you, like, what part of the photo are you touching? P- painting you touching, excuse me. Uh, like, the main, like, I'm assuming it's just, like, a painting and then there's outside. Yeah. She's touching, like, the middle, but again, just, like, her fingertips All right. is just touching. You touch this painting and for the two of you watching the, her, her eyes just kind of shoot back I- I- into her head and you just your vision flies out of this structure flies around it and it sail soars back in through another portion of it soars in you can't really see and it comes in and you see this do you see this cloaked man leaning over a table there's some type of body on it and he's current and he's holding a scalpel and he's just making an incision down one side of the leg just making a cut um in this type of thing can i i know i can't change it mm-hmm. um but can i get closer you can make a perception check to see okay. what is around it's a crit 20, so 26. So you see round. He's in some type of laboratory. There's these different jars and beakers filled with foots, hands, buns, just assortment of different body parts. And, and, this ta- and on this table is a body if you can call it, but it is just pieced together. The hands, the hands are both mismatching. The the leg, one leg doesn't look like the other. It is just a stitched together body. And as you're watching, you kind of, the, the view kind of pans. So now that you see the front of him looking down at this body, he's continually taking the scalpel and cutting. And he looks up directly at you. Are you enjoying the view? And you snap back to where to where you are okay. in front of this painting once again. So she'll just be like, oh my gosh. Make sure you take off a use of that. Yes. Everything okay. okay? So, it seems what he's doing is he's piecing together those unique and important souls to create something, to create a entity or humanoid of some sort I think perhaps one thing to worry about at a time so he's in the room with us the one that I saw piecing together that was he's somewhere in this structure but he's not in the same room with you he's somewhere in this building okay from what she's gathered would she know that this might be the god that they're trying to create well, it's a bit hard. You kind of like think of like what he looks, what he looked like, and then you kind of look up at this giant painting mural type of deal, mm-hmm. and you kind of think, yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> They're making a giant <laughs> picture of him. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. And she look around the room to see if there's any hint. The staircase. Or the staircase. Yeah. Yeah, I think instead she's like, I think we have to keep going. All right. Well, I'm sure this will turn out fine. <laughs> Do you guys continue? Oh, sorry. I said it if, if you insist. <laughs> Do you guys continue up the staircase? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you keep walking up the staircase. You keep walking. You keep walking. And you keep walking. 
um, walk for uh, a little while, like five minutes. I hate these sorts of things, and <laughs> sort of turn around and walk back down. Do you walk back down? So you walk back down, you walk for a minute, just a minute, and then you come back to the painting. Do you keep walking down? Uh, I'll pick up the painting and just keep walking it, down. It's affixed to the wall. Oh. It's this giant painting affixed to the wall. Uh, yeah, I'll keep walking down. All right, you walk for just another minute, and then you're you're back at the bottom of the staircase. Well, is there any other doors here? Nope. <laughs> Can I go check the door that we came through originally? It, yeah, it's right, right there. It's just a just leads into the soul room. The uh, the room full of souls. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, he's going to walk back to where the stairs are and shout up to see if they can hear him. Yeah, he's just... You, you hear him calling from the bottom of the stairs, loud and clear. Uh, yes? I hate these things! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but can we... come? Can you come back up so we can continue? No. How, how long have you been walking? Do, did you two keep walking? Well, he was. Yeah, he went probably. Back. All right. As you went, as you were walking up, um, about like the six minute of walking, you come to the painting again. Well, currently we're at the painting. Right. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> She's going to walk a little way up the steps because they're obviously not coming back down. <laughs> so, so you walk, you walk for a minute, and you're at the painting with them. Oh, you you caught up fast. Because well, it's not, we're not going anywhere. We're going in a circle. Uh, you oh. know how to get out of it? Not specifically, no. Um, no I'll helpful. put. Does the painting feel like? It feels uh, like. I hate this. It feels I'm like. Going to... <laughs> I'm going to put a attempt to put a yellow soul into the hand because it's outstretched. Oh! It falls. Okay. But make 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 me make me uh make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, five. <laughs> it fall, it, the gold one it falls and, and breaks and you lose that one. <laughs> I go back down the stairs to go grab <laughs> it. He walks back down, walks back up, takes two minutes. You did feel the the tube kind of stuck on like the outside, but you felt like your fingers kind of passed through near the palm. Well, we have to give it something. Uh, she's going to walk over and she's going to put her hand on it. On it? See if, are you yeah. just, are you just like, like a... touching, grabbing, poking? Almost like like she's kind of like interlocking, like a handshake. Interlocking? Okay. Yeah. All right. So see if that does anything. Yeah. So you stick your hand in and you f grab something, and so there's kind of like a a release. Okay. And you guys just all of a sudden are lurch sideways up the stairs as all of you are just getting just it's picking up speed faster and faster so you so <laughs> you Alara, because of how you grab the hand you are fine but the stairs okay. are like collapsing down and you see the top part coming faster and faster <gasps> you're holding on um, <laughs> Vildan and Amelia are not as they get oh, no. <laughs> launched forwards through the door at the top of the stairs across this hallway and into the far side of the room. Um, oh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, Amelia and Vildan, make me a make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh no! Fucking barbarians. <laughs> <laughs> I could give you disadvantage and then give myself advantage. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh but I'm, I'm not that mean. I'm not that mean. Do you know you could? I already rolled it. Whatever. Oh, I rolled a 19. Uh, as I'll well. You rolled a 19 as well? All yeah. right. You two both kind of just crash into the wall, but you manage to catch yourself. And you kind of like slide to the wall. Uh... Herlera, you're fine, but you see that they went flying into this door at the other side of this hall. Um, you you two, okay? <laughs> you so so. Do you go towards the door? Do you go towards the door? <laughs> so you go towards the door and you peer inside. You see that they, the momentum just flung them to the other side of this room, and you look down and you see just these different panels uh and with each with a different symbol on them and you guys across the way see these panels as well but you're on the other side of them and they are completely covering the room and you guys hear fluttering some light oh. flapping noises and all of you look up as you see little cages hanging from the ceilings by chains. And each cage has an ear fluttering around on the inside of it. Different shapes, different sizes, different types of species. Let's start with Hilera. Go ahead and make me a perception check. 14. Okay. That's, a pass. That's my great aunt's ear. <laughs> Aunt Jenny? (laughs) Oh, that's where you went. (laughs) So, Hilaire, you see next to you is some type of a locked box uh, made of steel that it's on the wall. It looks like it's covering something. Liu Dan and Amelia, however, you guys, on the wall that you crashed into, you guys see a note. And I'll show you what you saw on the ground as well. The arrow is the side that you is the side that you two are on, and the door is the side that uh uh Hilera is on. I'm not going to lie. Being smart is not my strong suit, so I'm going to follow you on this one. Okay, so say one more time which which side who is on. You and Amelia are on the side with the arrow, and Herlara is on the side with the door. The fluttering of the ears are up above. They're rattling around in the cages. The paneled floor in front of you. You wonder what would happen if you stepped on the wrong one. You might not want to find out. As they're doing that, do I also have panels on my side or just their side? You do. Um, Okay. You, however, are lucky. You're on the you're on the exit side. They just they man because you managed to hold on to the painting. You. You are, uh, you are safe. And in that little lockbox, though, you're wondering if it could be a release mechanism, a way to disable trap, or something. But it is locked up tight, and it is solid steel. I just inspect it to see if there's any, like, markings or anything like that on it? Or is it just, like, a plain just box kind of thing? It's a box with a lock on it. Okay. So I check. The note is saying something specific. Yeah. I think that we have to decipher what the note is saying, and that that will give us the clue to how to walk through that area. I agree. I feel like we're missing a part of it, though. How Something so? I know the ears have to be fed. Something. Something. Be with. Something. 
I, I need to. I need to. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> My I, brain is like right there. <laughs> I I am aware that this is a difficult puzzle. I will say this is probably the most difficult puzzle of the night. The weird P symbol is a T. The uh, P that looks like it's stumbled over looks like. And oh, uh, the D tipped, age. yeah, the D is an H, the uh, fucked up J is an H. <laughs> I love your descriptions of these. The nine is an S. So I know the ears have to be fed. Go ahead, Amelia and Leo Dan, and roll an intelligence check. We will. Oh, right. Um, Just roll me a straight intelligence check as you're Roll roll d20, add your intelligence modifier. Okay, 20. No, sorry, 14. Oh, okay. Uh, 26. Going on. Nice. <sighs> All right. I did use knowledge of the past as well, otherwise that, that 26 is impossible, technically. Okay. With this roll, you can decipher one... You can decipher one of the words. Which one would you like deciphered? Probably the longest one, right? The longest yeah. one, um, right, right before the, the right, right before the end, right here. Yeah. So that is something. <laughs> so there's two ways this can go. This this can go where you're gonna figure it out, and then you're gonna go, oh, I hate you, or oh, I don't get it, and I hope it's the oh, I hate you, because that because. <laughs> uh, I st I still don't know what the word after fed is. It's fed something something. Would you roll a twenty six? Yeah, I'll give that to you. But, 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 I know the ears have to be fed. But, Hilara, go ahead and roll an intelligence check as well. Just a d20 and then add the modifier. Yep. I oh uh ten. Ten. Okay. Um. Hey guys. <laughs> I'll say with that she can decide. She can help you decipher one of these smaller words, like one of the uh, one of the three or four letter words. So I know that. <clears throat> so I know the ears have to be fed. But what is what is that word after but? But something. Like me. I'll let you all roll one more intelligence check. And if you get high enough DC, you can decipher it. With something less toony. <clears throat> Is that sorry, last sorry. word incorrect? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Am I translating it incorrectly? Okay. Um, that last word, what is the first letter? T. Oh. So that's just a regular P. Oh, that's okay. just regular P. Oh, <laughs> something less punny. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I'm mixing it up with the... I see. Okay. Yes. Okay, something less punny. Oh, okay. So then we just have to decipher whatever the thing up top says. So those are the panels that you have to walk across to get to the door. Yeah. So the panels, if we're going to write this out, the D-looking thing is supposed to be... An H, and then S, N, S, P, S, 
Is that supposed to be TT? Which one? Um, the second row from the top, the last two. Are those the same symbol or no? Those are not. So I I know the ears have to be fed, but... Could it be with something less punny? Could it be with something less punny? What could they be feeding the ears that is punny? A pun. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, would this be... Would this be a wisdom roll? No, not a wisdom. No, this would be intelligence. Ears. Your load. Your wax. I, I think I think you might be you might Here's be going a, a little too deep in that direction. <laughs> oh. What was? What did you say, ears Michaela? Of corn? I didn't say anything. Your ears of corn. Why are you staring at me like <laughs> dumb? <laughs> That's a pun, right? Yes. Corn also also has been also been uh told corn is also can also be called ears of corn. Am I am I on the right track? <laughs> you might you might be, but so but now that you if you think that's what it is, then what would you have to do? I'm sorry, just leered in staring at me as if I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're obviously thinking of something that I am not, which is fine. I'll give it to you because you said it. You have a you have a strong feeling that it is talking about corn. Okay. That they're yeah. feeding the ears corn. Corn. <laughs> My brain today isn't working. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. That's an R at the end. I oh. see. Okay. So. Hold on. How do I? Are you painting on it? Yes. You are painting on it. I knew you were. Yeah. Gonna, I knew you were gonna. I knew you were going uh, to. Where's Where's my fucking editor markup? Oh, I'm not good at figuring out. Mm. I put it in the Discord. Thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah. So, All right. Uh, um. Oh, I didn't catch whatever your names were. Um, you. Walk this way. <laughs> so who's going first? What if the zombie? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Smart, actually. All right. He takes a step. Nothing happens. Takes a step to that second one. I'll take a step onto the one where nothing happened. Nothing happens. <laughs> Let's take a t take a step to the last to to the third. Nothing. Yeah, I'll just and to the right final. <laughs> nothing as well. Yeah, <laughs> I just make my way across. Good job, you've made it past the ear room. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that that I knew that was gonna be a that that is a difficult one. That that was difficult. I, I, I wasn't coming at you. I was coming at the other member of my party. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Halara, you're sitting there watching, anxiously waiting, as they are tiptoeing across this these panels, finally reaching to where you are. Well, it took you guys long enough. Oh yes, because you were so much help. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh darn it! There we go. All right. So you have. I mean, the... I suppose I could have just flown across, but. That was less fun. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I oh, don't even. I don't actually it. have anything for flying. He's just oh, saying that. Oh, like, okay. Like, he's just saying that to be like a butt. <laughs> the ears fluttering in the cages. You guys walk out the front door, and you look to your right to a hallway with another door, uh, down the way. All right, hey, master go. door opener. 
<laughs> what happened? Wait, what was this? When did this door thing happen? <laughs> when they failed to open the hat <laughs> that we were trying to get through. Oh, okay. All right, I get you. All right. Before we so do you this, walk meta, does anybody need healing? Uh, I could use some. I'm 36 out of 56, but not majorly. All right. I'm going to use a second level cure wounds. Boop, boop, boop. Boom, 13 HP. Thank you. I would say don't ever worry about healing me from a skill from like hypothetically out of 95. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I love that. And then with, with rage, I take a half of everything. Great, so yeah. <laughs> You're good. All right. So you guys reach the room at the end of the hall. You open the door to a large square room. Uh, a fireplace is on one side of the wall. Uh, not lit, you know, has its bed of coals in there. Just whatever. Uh, on one side is just a very speed up looking table and a very dirty rug in the center. Uh, on the table, however, are three gems. You have you have a uh, a diamond, a sapphire, and ruby. On the said table is those three diamonds: ruby, sapphire, and diamond, uh, as well as a stone dragon with its mouth hanging open. And carved into the table is a riddle. It says, black is it, and much admired, sought by men until they're tired. When they fight it, find it, they break its head and pluck it from its resting bed. What are the three gems again? <sighs> diamond, sapphire, and a ruby. I feel like the obvious one is diamond because you can, it's coal, you know, polish coal into diamond or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if it's like it's supposed to be like a one of those things that like the gemstones are like you break it in half and the inside is it and I don't know which one is that. Uh -huh. And those are the only things that are out. Those are the only things that are out on this table. Black is it and much admired, sought by men until they're tired. When they find it, they break its head and pluck it from its resting bed. I mean, I feel like coal is pretty fair. Eh, why not? Fuck it. And I'm going mm -hmm. to start reaching for the diamond if nobody's gonna stop me. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's something bad that might happen. Should I do it? No. Why should any of us risk our life while <laughs> one of the zombies come over and pick up the diamond? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bloop. You, you put it in the dragon's mouth? Oh, yeah, I'll have the zombie put it in the dragon cell. Oh, okay. Um, have the zombie make me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Actually? Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, this is bad. Uh, they have a minus two to whatever the outcome is. <laughs> so that's a 16. Oh, the zombie, he just, and just plops it in. And the like, he's gonna like just kind of like shuffle and turn to look at you. And as he turns, the dragon is going to breathe a little ray of cold oh. as it <laughs> and just misses the zombie as he's turning. And the diamond oh. and the di and as it's breathing this ray of cold, the diamond falls out of its mouth and rolls back onto the table. Well, I don't believe it's diamond. <laughs> yeah. well, the, I mean, the answer just has to be coal. So, can I go and, like, rub all of the, like, gems? Like, are any of them painted? Nope. Is... Is there coal in the room? <laughs> you, Somewhere? you tell me what's in the room. Oh my god, the fireplace. Oh, oh, there you go. Very nice. That was cl that's clever. I like that. I really like this. All right, who's gonna go pick it up? All right, you go over to the fireplace. There's just a couple lumps of coal in there. 
Leo, Leo Dan feels pretty confident about this. <laughs> yeah, he'll do it himself this time. <laughs> you put you put the coal in the uh, you put the coal in the dragon's mouth, and its jaws just crunches around it, and the wall that the fireplace is on just slides back. All right, and I'm gonna go back over the table and just <laughs> yeah, pocket, pocket those gems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The diamond is 300 gold. Yep, I'm gonna take that. Cool. I'm just saying, there's enough gems for at least one of one for each of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the healing fee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't remember paying insurance. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll take the diamond just because I can actually use it, but you guys can split the other two. So, the wall slides back. And you find, and you see behind this sliding wall, excuse me, is a laboratory. The shelves are filled with jars that are that have foots, hands, eyeballs, lungs, just an assortment of different body parts in them. And on the table is nothing. There's nothing on the table. Just a little pool of blood at one at one end of it. And over to your right is a little <laughs> desk with some notes on it, and a door at the far end. Halara, this room kind of looks familiar to you. Ask. Um. Do I immediately remember it from the memory that I had? The, the, the scrying that you just did, yeah. Okay, so I'll let them know that this is the place that I saw when I looked at the painting. Oh good, that's super comforting. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you guys feeling about this? Two. Two? I mean, I'm confident about everything, so like about a 9.8. I will take that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to cast a spell on myself. Uh, what and spell are you going to cast? I'm going to message you. Message me? I'm going to message you. You're going to message me. All right, I'm ready to go in. Unless you share with everyone. Uh, <laughs> you um, you're inside this uh, you're inside this room, and the fireplace wall just <laughs> slides back behind you, and you guys kind of feel something like you're not alone in the room. And then that feeling's gone. And I'm waiting for Ben. <laughs> uh, the, it has no immediate effect. Oh, okay. Um, but you have that desk and that door. Uh, I think Calera's going to just scope out the room. Okay. Just to see if she can find any... Make me yeah. an investigation check. Oof, nine. Okay, so you look around. Um, there is a bunch of mason jars. It mason jars. Pff, don't think they were. They would be a better. Oh, they could be. They could be. Um, so you look around, and there are a couple of different, uh, different jars some of them empty some of them fill with uh some empty jars some fill some fill jars fill jars have different pieces of body parts empty jars just have like a, just a kind of like a briny liquid to keep the to keep the body parts fresh you find empty tubes of of um the tubes that hold the souls and you also find some notes and I am going to text you what the notes say 
would you like to share with the class? Yes. I would. Um, I'll just copy this and send it to the... Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I can read it out loud to get the effect. Sure, yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right. So the notes she finds, it says, Subject 42. A combination of orc, half-elf, and dragonborn. I had high hopes for this one, through combining agile limbs with strong muscles. Unfortunately, it could not take hold of the energy that the soul provided. The energy of the souls just won't stay attached to the bodies. I have to find a way to solve this. Then, skips. Subject 63. Halfling, kobold, and goblin, this one. This was more for personal amusement. I didn't expect the test to actually succeed. I don't know why yet, but it's held onto the soul energy and the body stays together. Why is this? What did I do differently than all the other times? Subject 78. Human, Aarakroka, and Tabaxi. What an interesting one. I finally figured out why Subject 63 work. It requires a heart from a magic user. I don't understand yet, but it seems the more experienced the magic user, and combined with the perfect soul, it becomes stronger and more powerful entity. I'll have to inform their priests to have the sheep look for magic users, perfect souls or not. Lovely. <laughs> Do I recognize this, this handwriting? Do you recognize this handwriting? Do I recognize this handwriting? Roll me. What would that be? An insight check? Or or the maniacal way that this person is writing down their information? Roll me an insight check. Uh, I feel like this is a really important role, so I'm gonna roll my final uh, knowledge from the past as well. Uh, 19 total. 19? It looks vaguely familiar, but you can't place it. God damn it, Al Yuen. Great. Oh, I think I do. If the if this person is as mad as I think that they are, then I do think I know this person. Unfortunately. Uh, well, I think we figured out why it felt so off with that ritual. We weren't really sucking out souls, but rather this guy was just mutilating bodies. I think it's a bit of both. The unfortunate thing is that it doesn't matter whether or not the god is real. The Kuatoa are in the process of believing that this god is both real, and if this person is as mad as I think that they are, they are combining their efforts with the priest in order to both create a god and be able to fulfill their own means. Um, can we circle back to you knowing the person, though? I... You know how... Are they... I mean, obviously they're not a good guy. No. But are they, a, like, a decent guy no <laughs> hey, hey Leo Dan yeah you hear some fluttering uh, I'll look around top right corner of the room you see an ear fluttering about uh firebolt <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll attack <laughs> 16. It's gone. I didn't get to hear that sound effect either. <laughs> I don't care. They can hear it. You guys can hear it. <laughs> great. Just great. <laughs> Gods, and I made a... You didn't make a blood pact with him as well, did you? 
No, but okay. I did make a clone of him. Oh! <laughs> uh, which means it could... I don't know. Frankly, I didn't think he was this stupid. Should have known better. Uh, we've worked with each other on occasion. Clink. 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 You hear like these little ground. pinning metals. It's coming from the other side of the door. Clink. Clink. You're in the laboratory. There's There was a yeah. door inside the la laboratory. Clink. Clink. Door opener. Clink. <laughs> Clink. Door opener. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she, 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 she like hur hurly on over and open the door. <laughs> All right. You guys walk into this lavish chamber. This slightly tattered rug rolls all the way from this door to this desk at the other side these two statues on the left and the right of this uh, uh, this the statues in the shape of this of this figure that you saw in the painting this gatherer uh you see you see uh on the sides of the walls these purple banners hang and at the end is of this hall is of this chamber is a desk where you see the priest counting gold coins clink clink looking down not paying attention clink clink just kind of stares at all of you it like scrambles up on top of the desk <laughs> You do not belong here. I would suggest that you don't do that. All of you flee this plane. This this is the gatherer's domain. You 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 do not belong in this chamber. Flee now bef before before I you. Amelia I mean, will walk over and try to gobble them. <laughs> Go ahead. He is like <laughs> posing on this desk, like try, like making hand waves and everything. Oh shit! He needs nine. This Five. Let's go. You pin this sucker. Do you, do you? Are you like desk floor where you got him? Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, I was like, I told you not to do this. Like, yeah. not to do it. Like, she's like, she's gonna drag him to the ground. No, no, no. And she's like, pinning him, and he's like, shh, no, shh. No, no, all right. What are you doing here? Oh, God, he even sounds pathetic. <laughs> no, please, listen, 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 okay? You're, 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 do you want the gold? I, I, there's gold right there. I can give you the gold, and you guys can be on your way. Just, just, you can't be here. I can't lose this job. I mean, the gold would be nice. He's, he's gonna like, kind of like try to like turn to look up. It's like five hundred gold on on right in, in on the desk. Just, 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 just take it and go. All right, just, just. You're supposed to be dead. Where's your your accomplice or your boss in this? Who told you? Are you actually a Kuatoa? No, I am a Kuatoa. Inside check. <laughs> Mark, go I'm ahead. just trying to make sure that his, uh, another soul hasn't been stuffed into this body or something. <laughs> oh, that's good, actually. Dirty 20. He's a Kuatoa. He's a Kuatoa. He's sweating, but he's a Kuatoa. Well, I mean, he's already slimy. He looks nervous, but he's a Kuatoa. He's kind of struggling. It's like, look, look, look. Who told you? Who told you about my... Accomplice. No one did. It was. We're actually here for a job. We were told that like we're supposed to be a replacement. Kind of awkward. Yeah. No. 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 I'm sorry. No. There's. There's no way. 
You guys- You are on the ground right now. Okay, look. Look. Just... You just go. I can tell you how to get out of the encampment. Get past the all the, get past everyone else. You just need to go. I can't lose this job. All right, just, just pull out a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't like pointy things. What do you want? What do you know about Al Ewan Nash? Who? Al Ewan. Who? No. Who have you who have you been Is doing there... this for? Who's your boss? The Gatherer. Well, okay. Well, <sighs> not. We just call him, or okay, uh, they call him the Gatherer. I don't know what his actual name is, but are he... they a fairy? No, they are the rest of the tribe. <laughs> Look, we Where? used. We used to have a god. We used we used to have a god. Okay, it was a god of death. It was fantastic. Um, sorry, not a fairy. Are they half elf? Who? The gatherer. The oh, gatherer. I don't know what he is. He wears the mask. I can't tell what he is. Oh, so what happened to the god of death? I'm not. I would like to circle back on this. <laughs> I don't know. One of the other priests took him to deal with some Duke guy, and he never came back. And we lost our magic. And we tried to worship and worship and create a new god, and we couldn't. We just couldn't. It just stopped. Where is your boss now? I don't know. He he comes and goes. I just collect the souls for him. He came to us and was telling us that if we, if I listened to him, he would provide the Kuo was like the, the, the tribe with their own god again. They were getting desperate. They need someone to worship. They need something to follow. We didn't, he don't have magic. He gave us items to, he gave me items to make it look like I still have the magic. So they made me the priest. But I'm gonna pull out the wand and point it at him. Ooh. Yeah, like that. Does does he glow? Dull blue. Dull blue. Dull blue. He seems like a dull blue. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that, that's that still freaks me out. He makes stuff like that. And and it's weird, it's creepy. How do you pull out their souls? I don't know. What he do you mean you don't know? He gives me the tubes. I invoke it. It sucks their souls out. I do know that they have to be on the brink of death. But that's it. It's all I know. I just do what he tells me and he pays me and I get to live here and yeah well you know what uh I think you get to live somewhere else now mm -hmm. I know it's really nice here uh, uh and I'm gonna pull out my rope <laughs> <laughs> no no listen listen if you look if you don't you leave me alone and we and you pretend we didn't even see each other or you kill me because if you don't, he's going to. I feel kind of bad for him. Mm. Can I punch him? No, they <laughs> literally worship the god of death. <laughs> I don't... He made Byrus sad, so now I'm going <laughs> to He made Byrus sad. He must be punished. Yes! Alright, do you want to slug him? Yes. Alright, roll an attack with advantage, because uh, grapple doesn't yeah, give I you advantage. No, I have him prone though, because I brought him to the. Ground. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, roll. Uh, roll an attack with advantage. Okay. I'm gonna unarm strike him because he deserves it. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Come on. Fourteen. He's dead. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I'm kidding. You hit. You hit. You hit. You hit. Okay, I give him 
Seven damage. Okay. Priests are, the, the Kuatoa priests are actually pretty hardy. Hardy. Uh, he takes it, but he's like, <laughs> look, 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 this isn't going to do anything. Just you, look tied him up. No, we need to go. <laughs> Hold we on, I'll do it again. Need to go. If he, oh, we're going. <laughs> he starts lowering his voice. If he finds us, he is going to kill me and you and everyone. The tribe is, oh, he only sees the tribes as a mean to an end. If we become useless to him, then we're useless to him. We yes, go? and you are now very useful to us, so you should be listening to us. Yes. At some point, you will be useless to him, and he will get to you guys, too. You just see his eyes grow wide. Oh, we're so screwed now. He's staring at the other end of the hall. You guys turn. Yeah. Did you guys turn and look? And there are the the shadows from the torchlight just seem to stretch further and further, covering more and more of the room. And all of them are coalescing onto one singular point in front of the door. They stretch more and more, and they entwine. And they seem to just create this form that just rises from the floor. Rising from the floor is this man dressed in a priest robe. Hood covering his face, uh, hood covering his head, mask covering his face. <coughs> the gatherer in all of his glory. And he stares at all of you. Well, I think all of you deserve a cookie. I do love cookies. Oh, chocolate chip or oatmeal? If you pick oatmeal, you're a monster, and I'm going <laughs> to, to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Combination of both. Yeah. And you're you all say, sick. You say I'm the monster. <laughs> You took you all long enough to get here. So. I just ask, is that you in that costume? Yes, that is <laughs> okay. me in that costume. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. So, questions? Mm, more like comments and concerns, but <laughs> do tell. Are they all this useless now? And he's going to point at the the Kuatoa. <laughs> They're pretty useless before. They just got the collecting done a lot faster. Mm. Lara will say, "Take off your mask, you coward." Oh, but I love my mask. I do have a quick question. Quick answer. Oh, perfect. Um, if I ask pretty please, because that's the polite thing to do, will you just, like, go away? Because I really don't. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Now, <sighs> I am one for politeness, but I can't. I can't let you leave. Or rather... <clears throat> I'm not going to make it easy for you to leave. I really wanted to do this the nice way. Mm. Um, you said that it won't be easy for us to leave. Honestly, I think we're the only ones leaving that will be alive. Oh, both of you assume I'm going to stick around and fight all of you. Uh, I cast compulsion. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, first, actually, sorry, 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 sorry. How far away is he? <laughs> Hold on. 100 feet away. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Long as soon hallway. as I thought about it, I was like, he's probably a decent way to wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look. It is brave of you guys to come here. Everyone warned you so many times, but you came here anyways. So, I'll tell you 
a little bit of what I'm doing. And then, I'm gonna have my guys attempt to kill you. You might survive, and that would be great because that means we get to play again later. Yes. As a quick note, as he's talking, I am slowly walking towards him. <laughs> Once I've covered about 20 feet, let me know, because I am sprinting. Uh, so if he allows me to, I would like to, as he's talking, to cover that 20 feet. Okay. So. Yes, I am collecting souls. They're very precious to me. For a good reason. When this dimension came into being, certain people was charged with the best type of energy that you can get. They become very powerful. Clairvoyant, even. That makes their souls that much more impressive for me to turn into a battery. It's a weird phenomenon, but then again, this dimension is a huge phenomenon. Isn't that right, Leo Dan? <laughs> well, I was kind of informed not to let that little secret out. I know, isn't it great, though? We have these beings that can create gods and others who might be able to ascend to that level. Not mm. me, though. I'm already on that level. Care to share? In due time. But for now, it's time for the fun to begin. I'll let you charge, but as you are, he's casting a spell. That is fine. So he is going to pull out a bag next to him, and he just basically screams, flesh and blood at my command. Gore and bone, come take a stand. Form together the monster I need to kill these fools and make them bleed. And soaring out of the bag is a diff is an amalgamation of different body parts, just all flying, just just all just a tornado of blood and gore. They spin around faster and faster in three different forms before they pull away from each other. And in the center is a beating heart. And they just all for come together around that heart to form the lovely gore elemental. And there's three of them now. And as you begin charging, uh, as you begin charging there, Amelia, one of these things just slam right in front of you, and I'll let you get an attack off on it if you want. Uh, yeah, I would like to. All right, go ahead and roll. This will be the surprise attack just for you. What to hit? Uh, 23. That hits. Fantastic. Ooh, that's not bad. 11 damage. 11 damage. That's a nice start. These three gore elementals. You have a second attack, don't you? I do. Yeah. <gasps> and a bonus do. action as well, if you heck, if you yeah. can do anything with that. Uh, I will... Uh, it's too late. I already attacked once. Um, I'm going to wage after my bonus, after this attack. Okay. 21 to hit. 21 hits. Uh, 13 damage and then wage. All right. How much was the first? How much damage was the first attack? Uh, 11. Okay. Minus 11 and then minus 13. Yep. All right. You take some nice meaty portions out of this stitched together thing. 
it is ghastly looking. And this gatherer just takes a step back. And then he calls out, Hey, Leo Dan. Leo Dan. <laughs> uh, I. Oh, I was just assuming that there was. He's just going to keep talking. <laughs> yes? You want to get even more insane? Want me to drive you even more crazy? I can take it. He reaches up and he takes off his mask. <sighs> and. Even with the jet black hair and the red eyes, it is unmistake unmistakably. It looks exactly like Roland Rengate. Yeah. And he just, just echoing laughter, and then he's gone, and all of you. Roll for initiative. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, all right. 16. Who was that? Sorry. <laughs> Me. Okay. Blair. Okay. 16, you said? 12. Leo Dan? Uh, six. Shh. Leo Dan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, are we on Mythic Table again or no? Yes, we are. I'm so sorry. Seconds as I get this pulled up. It is the hall, and you guys are at the are at the uh, front of the desk right there. <laughs> Laura, you are going first. Go ahead. So she's going to. Okay, so she's going to. Since that one's gonna be dealt with, she's gonna go here, 5, 10, and she's going to summon. Arms of the Astral Self. Alright, that one's gonna roll. Oh, that's a 9. So go ahead and deal 2d6, uh damage to that yes. one that you're in front of, that green one. Uh, so nine. Nine points of damage. All right. And then... Uh, she has that she's going to do. Does a 20 hit. <laughs> a 20 will hit. So, 11 damage. Very nice. Um, and do, uh, apologies, can I attack again? You didn't, you uh, used your bonus action to summon the, the arms. Yes, yeah. So if you attacked twice, then that is all the attacks you have at the time. Okay. All right. That is your turn. It is now... Which one, are, which one is it? Oh, it's now that one's turn. So <laughs> it didn't like the fact that you hit it, so it's gonna freaking hit back. Just once, yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Does a, I am slow. Uh, does a, 25 hit. Oh, it does. All right. Uh, so you're going to take six bludgeoning damage and then. Uh, wait, hold on. I have a question. Answer. Uh, I have interception. Is it when the creature's within five, to five feet of me or when the target of their hit is within five feet of me? Because uh, I can't figure it out with the wording. When a creature you see hits a target other than you within five feet of you. It doesn't matter now because I realize that they are not within five feet of me. <laughs> uh, the Alara is. When not the creature feet, is. So. When the attacking creature, I believe, mm -hmm. is within okay. five feet of you. Is how yeah. I would read that. I just want to make sure. 
Um, All right. Thank you. Um, anyways, so the you right, get right, right. you get dealt <laughs> uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage, and oh. as well as five points of necrotic damage. So six, ten, and five. Six, ten, five. Did I already roll a six? No. You get uh, 16 points in total. Okay. Just want to double check. And um, go ahead and make me a uh, make me a strength saving throw. Oh, eight. Eight. As the as he hits you with his like fleshy claw, he holds on to you as the tendril the gore tentacles like just wrap around you and you are grappled by him all right that is its turn amelia um i'm gonna smash i'm gonna smash with advantage because i'm reckless okay i'm not gonna smash a 13. 13 that does not hit no yeah i i'm gonna roll again cool i quit Duh! <laughs> nice. all righty then when you're attacking the JR red. Yes, you're attacking the red uh, one. So that is nine and five and two. Nine, five, and two. Nine, seven, which is 16. All right. Uh, yeah, 16. Okay. And then I will... How bloody do they look? This one that you're in front of right yeah. now... He took some damage, but he's not bloodied just yet. I think it's worth it. I'll action surge. All right. Take the action surge. Yeah. So I'm going to attack again. Reckless as well? Yeah. All right. 17. 17 to hit? Yeah. That hits. Let's go. Very nice. <laughs> it's nine and uh, two. All right. 11 points of damage. I love it. I can't do math. It is now bloodied. Ooh, I quit. I vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, these are high rolls too. Okay. Um, twelve and ten and two, so twelve and twelve is twenty-four. Oh. Wow. Okay. He's not looking too good now, Mr. Uh, red guy. I, I would apologize, but I don't know if you're actually a person, and so I feel awkward by apologizing to you. So sorry, I guess. Uh, and that, that'll be your turn. All right. It is now... Oh, gosh. It's both of their turns. <laughs> All right. So... The red one is look as weak as it is. It's gonna try to freaking attack you. Yeah. That does a ten hit. No. All right. It doesn't attack you, and the blue <laughs> one is going five, ten. Oh please load. There we go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five, thirty. That blue one's coming for you, Leo Dan. Oh, hold on. Let me refresh. Where is it? Oh, I see it. But that is its turn. And now it's your turn, Leos. Leos. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, Look at 30. you charging at them. Uh, turn undead. I should have known. All right. <laughs> what do I have to do? What do I have to roll? Uh, so, as an action, I present my holy symbol, speak fire, blah, blah, blah. Each undead that you can see or hear within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turned creature spends its turn trying to move as far away as it can, and it can't willingly move to a space within 30 feet of you. Uh, All right. It can't take reactions either. All right. 
start with the green one, which is black now. When did it get... Okay, that's okay. All right. Green one, quote, quote. <laughs> that's a two. He is that's churned. He is churned. Congratulations, by the way. This is the only chance. Um, red one. Ah, that... What's your saving throw? Double check. 18. That's also a fit. That's also a fail. <laughs> Gosh darn it, Leo Diane. All right, and the blue one. Just barely <laughs> missed it. 17. <laughs> oh, they just are churned. Uh, and then my two zombies go. <laughs> I don't know if that sound effect went through or not. Probably nope. Not. Now you know my yeah. pain. Nope. They just, they, just, <laughs> they just kind of poof and turn to dust. As they oh. are below CR1 and ah. 30 feet of me. <laughs> and so they just disappear. That is awesome. All right. Hilara. So now that they're undead, it's easier for them to be killed? They are undead. Um, so essentially... They will all run away. Okay. From me, specifically. Okay. And you're Unless in tow. you attack them. So you guys... This, this is a little meta. You guys could gang up on one while the other ones run away, essentially. Okay. So I would like to remind uh, Lara that she is grappled by the one she's currently engaged with. That's what I thought, yeah. Okay. So... So you can... Try to get out. <laughs> so what do I have to do to try to get out? It is an action to escape the grapple. Okay. So you are rolling um, athletics or acrobatics to escape the grapple. But that is your action. Okay. Um, does it matter which one? Nope. Whichever. You Whichever. Okay. Eleven. <laughs> No, you do not escape Crap. the grapple. Silvery barbs. Crap. Silvery barbs! Oh! Wait. Well, because don't don't you have to... It's a fixed DC. Oh, it's a fixed DC? Never mind. It's a fixed DC. Never mind. <laughs> Bye -bye. All right. I'll let you take it back. Well, it's the green one's turn, which is black now, so it's going to go... Dirt. Yeah. 5, 10, 15... 25, 30, and you come with it, Lara. Ah, no! So, <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, a turn creature who spends a turn trying to move as far away as it can, and it can't willingly move within 30 feet of you. It also can't take reactions or its action. It can also use the dash action or try to escape from the effect that prevents it from moving. That's as if far as. If there's nowhere to move, it can take the dodge action. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take the dodge action then, because it that's as far as it can go. Okay. All right. Um, Amelia, how are you going to destroy us this <laughs> boss today? I am tempted. How? Because this thing is extremely bloody, correct? Hold on. I got to look up the terminology. Josh would say he's, like, well into bloody or something. Yeah. He's well into bloody. Okay. <laughs> Um, I am going to, yeah, I'm going to leave them be, I'm going to go over here. Oh, all right. Uh, and I'm going to, yay! I think this one through. He is taking the dodge action, as a reminder. Yeah. So, if you take Reckless, you are, you are, um. I'm going flat. Yep. Yeah. Can I help her get ungrappled? Help is an action if you want to take that. Meaning, if. Can I, can I pull her on the grapple? I believe you can pull her and then she would have advantage on the next. Yeah, it's. It, you're essentially just using the help action. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna. I'm gonna smash, I'm sorry. Smash it! Alright. I'm thinking this one through. I'm gonna backlist. Then the black hole. 26 to hit. That hits. Ooh. I'm, 
8 plus 2 is 10. All right, what's the damage? I'm rolling relatively low damage, by the way. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> uh, 15 to hit. 15 does not hit. Okay. Um, please unhand my friend. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> his uh, response. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. After you is the, the oh the blue and the red one. Well, the blue one's gonna five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and the red one is five, ten, uh, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30 and yeah they'll both take the dodge action because they can't yes you're muted it's fine if they want to take the dodge action that's not an issue an issue at all okay they can also use their action to try and break the turning so they oh. can attempt to reroll otherwise otherwise they'd be running for a full minute oh. so they can it's up to you Obviously, I mean no. I'm but, gonna have them. I'm, I don't want this. <laughs> I don't want this to be a lame boss battle. So they're gonna roll. <laughs> That's a natural twenty for the red one, which is yeah. which yeah. sucks because he's not looking too good. Let's see what the blue one's got. Blue one is still churnt, but the red one breaks free. He's staring oh, daggers no. at you and the bloody mess that he is. <laughs> and Leo, then that is your turn again. Uh, okay. I'm going to. 5, 10, 15, 15, 20, 25, 10, 15, 20. Okay. He's just within range. Cool. Uh, can I have a wisdom saving throw? On which one? The red one. The red one? Alright, wisdom saving throw. That's a five. Uh, so I cast Compulsion. <laughs> and, uh, so, a uh, creature of your choice that you can see within range and that can hear you must make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh, is he immune to the charmed condition? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> no, he's not. But wait. <laughs> what? I'm, ta- I'm going to take this out if this means what I think it means. Condition immunities. He's immune to being unconscious? <laughs> I'm assuming that means, like, can't be put to sleep or something. Yeah. No, cuz... Uh... What? I didn't read this too I think, well. What? I think that's a difference between, like, like, dead versus unconscious. I think those are two different things. I I think I understand where your brain is going, but uh, but, d- but okay. Well, anyways, um, no, it's not immune to being charmed. So have at. Okay. Uh, each affected creature must uh hold on. On a failed save, a target is affected by the spell. Until the spell ends, you can use a bonus action on each of your turns to designate a direction that is horizontal to you. Each creature affected by this uh. Uses as much of its movement as possible to move in the direction on its turn. Uh, it can take an action before it moves. Uh, after moving in this way, you can make another wisdom saving throw. So basically, I just get to point in a direction, and he's just going to run full speed in that direction. <laughs> okay. So as my bonus action, I'm going to <laughs> run, just run up towards the blue one. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, um, and I'll use my 10, bonus action for that, 15, and then I'm gonna make my 20, way over here. 25, 30, on on their turn. Oh, oops. Uh, uh mm-hmm. I think it was right there. Yeah, I love that. Uh, yeah. He was the right lower here. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. My uh, my thing didn't update, so. Okay, I saw it. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, Halora. You were grappled by this sucker, and now she is an angry sucker oh, as no. he was hit. Alright, I'll try to get out. I'll do acrobatics. I okay. believe in you, you got the Thank you. Oh shit. Fifteen? What? Fifteen? 
meets beats. You slip out of his grasp. Very nice. Yay! And it's his turn now. Uh, oh <laughs> and he's gonna sway. He's gonna. Oh! No. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna swing at Amelia this time. That's fine. What? That is not fine. 14 to hit. No. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. For reference, I have an 18. Okay. Amelia, cool. it is your turn. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna swing. All right. Go ahead and swing. Oh, reckless. Is it still dodging? Or is that no longer? Nope. Anything? No longer dodging. Duh! Fantastic. Wait a minute. Yes, it no took longer. Its turn. Yes. Yeah, no longer dodging. Okay, twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four to hit. That hits. Fantastic. Oh, that's a good roll. Seventeen. Oh, that's not bad. I will roll again. Oh, that's an eleven. I almost quit. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, that. Oh, two and a three. That does not hit. All right. Um, she will quickly go, thank you for unhanding my friend. <laughs> uh, all right. Blue one's going to try to get unchurnt. It's still not unchurnt. Um, red one is going to 5, 10, 15, 20. Wait, doesn't the red one have to run? 25. He broke it. 30. No, no, no. Command, right? Oh! Oh, yep. All right. <laughs> yeah. I also just realized that I can. It's any creature within thirty feet of me. I can do this too. But I just we'll just stick with just the red one. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, uh, Leo, then it's your turn. All right. Uh. Well, I am concentrating on this <laughs> stuff. Wait. Hold on. I just want to make sure because I think he can make a save again. Yeah. After they take their turn. Uh. A target isn't compelled to move into an obviously deadly hazard, such as a fire or a pit. Uh, after oh, after moving this way, it may make another wisdom saving throw to try and end the event. Steel charmed. Okay. She's chill. So uh, on my turn, I will. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna cast. Firebolt. All right. At, Which at one this you one be below us? The the, the 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 black one that's supposed to be green. All right, go ahead and roll. Yes. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen hits. All right. That's gonna be nineteen fire damage. What the frick? He is uh, definitely bloodied. Oh. All right. Halara, it is your turn. Oh, oh, bonus action compulsion. He's still going to go towards in that one direction. Oh, <laughs> he just, he just <laughs> Does he take bludgeoning damage if he runs into a wall? No, 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 because he, he, he won't do anything that is obviously dangerous to oh. himself. Oh, so, what's so the I can't like run like... them off a cliff or something. So what's the difference between like compulsion and like command, other than lasting longer? Uh. So compulsion is any creature within 30 feet of me. So if I'm surrounded, I can basically like mob them in a different direction or something. Okay. All right. Uh, well, Halara, it is your turn. Okay. Do your thing. Um. So she's going to. This guy. I'm just gonna get a little closer. She is going to hit him with the quarter staff. All right, roll the hit. Oof, an 11? 11 does not hit. I kind of figured. Um, oh, but she can attack twice. So she's going to try one more time. Come on, come on, come on. 19? 19 hits. Okay, awesome. Um, and then six damage. Okay. And then she's gonna unarm strike him. Or... Yeah, unarm strike. 
26. <laughs> 26 hits. All right. And then nine damage. All right. This one is also really battered, but it is... <laughs> It is, it is its turn, and it's going to go for uh, the one with the axe, because it's like it being slashed apart to pieces. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That is a 19 to hit. It hits. All right. You are going to take... 12 bludgeoning damage, and... 3 necrotic damage. Were those halved? Those were not halved. Well, do you half necrotic damage? Yeah, all damage except for psychic. Oh, you are that barbarian. <laughs> what? All damage yeah. except for psychic. It's Whoa. the, uh, what's it? Totem of the bear or something. Okay. Um. So six and then one, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> How do you have three? How do I have three? What? To, to, to one. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. One. Yeah, one. <laughs> That's uh, my question. Oh, well, anyways, roll a, <laughs> roll a strength check. Strength saving throw. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <Saving throw. laughs> uh. Are you good? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I might be a little delirious. Cause I feel that. 17. Okay, you save. All Fantastic. right. Next up is the red one, and it's going to freaking run again. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. Excuse me, bluey dude. 25 the 30 and he's gonna roll to try to break free now that he's on the other side <laughs> of the room uh it's a 12 the blue one is also gonna try to break free of his thing <laughs> that's a 12 as well they're both still charmed <laughs> gosh darn it leo dan all right they're just Le hugging each other in the back of the room <laughs> oh, he's so that. scary all right <laughs> Leo, it is your turn. All right. Uh, the, I, I might have missed it. Is this black guy dead? Nope, not no. yet. He's close. Nope. All right. Firebolt. Roll. You could potentially kill him. 18. To hit. To hit. Okay. That hits. Okay. Sorry. And then 17 fire damage. You blow like his shoulder out and it's like there's a hole there but he's still up he's still up by the skin of his teeth a little oh, teeth that's he does unfortunate. have yep uh and i am now going to command the red guy to uh behind the statue just like in that direction <laughs> further into the corner <laughs> all right all right halara that is your turn okay um yeah, she's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna hit him with the quarter staff. All right, roll the hit. Sixteen. Sixteen just hits. Ooh, okay. And then eleven. Eleven points of damage. Yes. All right. How would you like to kill this one? Uh. We'd like to swing her staff around where she has the end and just jams it into the guy's head. Just rips it out. All right. Very well, nice. this guy just <laughs> the stitches and everything come undone, and he just falls to, falls apart in little piles of goo. All right. It is the green ones. Oh, the green one's dead. Um, all right. Uh, Amelia. Um, she will just pant <laughs> with anger <laughs> and turn around and run away. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, <laughs> 30, 35, 40. Um, yeah, okay. 
Uh, and then in order to keep up wage, she will throw a javelin at the blue one. All right. Go. Go I believe ahead. the blue one is dodging right now, correct? It, it, was, it did not take the action to dodge. It took the action to... It took oh. the action to try to break the thing. <laughs> Go ahead 19. and roll. Huh? 19. That hits. Fantastic. The blue one hasn't been hit yet. Five. All right. I could have just a scop made at this point, but... <laughs> 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 just oh, ran no. out the back end of the door. Yeah. Could have, but <laughs> she's All angry. Right. Um well oh because she attacked it, does it break free of its Yeah, it, it this is the one that is under the channel divinity thing, right? The turn undead? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it just auto breaks free. It's freaking it's freaking pissed and it's coming for you, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alright. Better roll a crit twenty. Yeah, I rolled a crit 20. Um, all right. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No. 15, 20. Oh, no. You're going to rob this <laughs> from me? <laughs> yeah, of course I'm going to rob this from you, Silvery Bird. <laughs> you freaking... All right. I'm going to roll another natural 20. Hold on. Here we go. It's a 13. Dirty 20 to hit. I mean, yeah, that'll hit. All right. You are going to... Thank you. All right, damage. of course. I'll try to. Uh, 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 I'll give it to the monk. Okay, I'll try to have this so that four points of bludgeoning damage. I need you, and two points of necrotic damage. I have it for you. I appreciate that. No problem. Uh, and roll me a st uh, strength saving throw. Uh, 26. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. It, it, <laughs> it tries to grab, it hits you and you feel like that's, like it has like these bones protruding out of its arm and it like, it's spiky and it hurts and it tried to grab you with it, uh, I'm pulling back, but uh, no, no dice. All no, right. Apologize. So the red one is going to freaking hide behind <laughs> this <laughs> statue. Leo, it's your turn. Uh, is it gonna try to break free at the end of its turn? Oh, right. Uh, wait. No, this is the. Oh, yes. He just get. He just gets to roll for free. Yep, that's right. I forgot. Oh, what's the saving throw? Eighteen. 17. Gosh darn it. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. This guy is perpetually stuck. He's like, he's on death's, he's like near death's door. He can't get free. He is just caught in limbo. Leo Dan, it's your turn. All right. We're gonna go do. God, I don't want to go through all my spells. <laughs> just nuke him. Oh, do you think I could. I don't know what do you want to do. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't have the guns. <laughs> no. Stupid Ben. Stupid. Uh, I'm gonna just cast fireball. Fireball. <laughs> yeah. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two hits. Go ahead and roll some damage. Four. Sixteen fire damage. That's not too shabby at all. All right. One. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right, Halora. All right, uh, she's going to. Uh, so if she dashes, um, did you say that doubles the speed? Yes, you can use your bonus okay. action to dash. If you have a key point to spend to use it. Great right here, that's what I can do. Oh, using the, your arms? Um, I didn't dash, I just used my regular speed. No, it's just out of range for arms, so I guess I'll use darts. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. <laughs> does an 11 hit? <laughs> 11 does not hit. Okay, I'll try again with the dart. Come on, that's cool. Okay, no, 10. Nope, neither neither yeah. darts hit fine purchase. <laughs> this guy is pissed, he's angry. 
But it's not his turn. It is Amelia's turn. Sorry, did you use advantage on your first one? Ah! Oh. Not. I did not. Chance it could hit. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen does not hit. Dang. Okay. The Sorry. Darts, the darts are not <laughs> as strong as you thought. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna reckless and smash. All right. Deal some damage. Uh, the crit. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Jesus <gasps> Christ. <laughs> All righty really, then. Really, really low damage though. Uh, seven, 11, and two. It's a 18, 20. All right, 20 points of damage. That's uh, not too bad. Oh, that was almost a crit fail. That's a 23 to hit. All right, 23 hits. Uh, 18 damage. 18 damage? What? Damn. 16 plus two. All right. All right, it is down. It is, this blue one is now bloodied as well. And... Uh, and then I'm going uh, to use a bonus action to second win to regain 1d10 plus three. Nice. All right. It is uh, this one's turn as well as the red one. Oh, it's gonna it's <laughs> it's gonna freaking try to hit you again. Crit fish. Uh, twenty one to hit. Yes. All right. You are going to take, and I'll have this again. That is that's three points of bludgeoning damage. And. One point of necrotic damage. Gosh darn it. Alrighty. Red one is stuck and gonna roll to try to break free of this foolish thing because he really can't do anything else. That's a two! He's stuck permanently! <laughs> <laughs> alright, Leo! Uh, alright. So. Uh, just go with old trusty. Firebolt. All right. Uh, 20 to hit. 20 hits. Four. 21 fire damage. What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Where are these numbers coming from? Dude, the the plus five to your cantrip damage oh because my of my spell modifier. All right. I well, get an eighth level. You dealt him some damage. He is not looking too good, and it is Halora's turn. Uh, I am going to move up a little bit closer. All right. All right. Uh, she's going to move up again. Especially Firebolt. That's like... That's like... That's crazy amount of damage for yeah. that cantrip. Oh, man. <sighs> uh, 22? 22 hits. And 8... Damage. Eight points of damage. Uh, she's gonna do it again. Does a sixteen hit? Sixteen meets beats. You hit it. Okay. And then another eight damage. It's on death's door. It's not looking too good. Okay. Last one. Come on. Oh no. Thirteen. Thirteen's not hit. Okay, Amelia, get this thing out of here. All right, Amelia, it is your turn. Fantastic. Finish it. Uh, I believe. You believe? Oh, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you believe in? <laughs> um, so this looks like, uh, 24 to hit. 24 hits. Jesus Christ. Again, really low damage. 10. That's okay. It's dead. How would you like yeah. to kill it? Uh, it's just decapitating the head. All right. She'll jump up and just kind of. <laughs> All right. Down. Last one is the red one. Let's see if the red one can actually do something. <laughs> That's a natural one. He's stuck up there, dude. <laughs> Leo, that's your turn. He's just hiding in the corner. Dude, I, I kind of feel bad. I feel bad he's, too. He's just hurt and damaged <laughs> in the corner. 
crying because he can't, he can't leave. <laughs> He's in permanent timeout. <laughs> and Emil is coming up to just finish him off. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we can talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, he seems kind of sad. <laughs> Maybe he uh, needs a cookie and a hug. <laughs> uh, that's 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, I cannot get to him from that angle. No, there's, he's there's got, a statue He's got way. full cover. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I guess I'll just take my action to... 15, 20, 25, 30 to get within range. So as you get there, um, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I legitimately was like, oh, I fucked up. I got too close. <laughs> All right. Um, Halora, that's your turn. Okay. We can't go a diagonal, corner. right? Uh, the rules about going diagonal is weird, correct? Okay. Yeah. So it's, Let's go five, ten. it's five and then. You move five feet, and then it takes ten feet to do an additional okay. diagonal, and then so on and okay. so forth. Five, 10, 15, 20, 15, 20. I'll actually just come right in between you guys. That's perfect. Woo. <laughs> We're lining up to get this guy. Out of the yeah. Yep. <laughs> Amelia, that's your turn. All right, cool. Um, I'm yeah, reckless. Uh, 20 dirt dirty that hits fantastic really really low roll is nine damage oh he's... that's something he's coming down uh 22 to hit 22 hits again very low uh 14 damage oh he is so close to being dead but he's not um, yet do anything else Anything else? I have nothing else I can do as a bonus action. Uh, please just talk with us. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have. We'll, we'll get you out of timeout. <laughs> Amelia, roll me. Roll me persuasion. Okay. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> Eleven. <laughs> uh it's its turn so and i'm gonna attempt to break free of this foolish charm condition <laughs> if it's the death of me which it's going to be with this foolish thing because that's a freaking eight so <laughs> i am so surprised this thing is not of you to be charmed <laughs> you can't change it now i can't and it's not so it doesn't matter <laughs> See, I could be really cruel and tell you something that it's not, which would make Ben very uh, Leo Den very upset. But that's okay because to me it makes sense if it's one thing. But that's okay. Leo Den, it's your turn. Is it not undead. It's technically not undead, but that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. So it is undead for me. That's fair. Okie dokie. We're gonna put it out of its misery. Five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> 25. I'll walk up to him. It's okay. You can rest now. And I'm going to cast Inflict Wounds at third level. That's so sad! <laughs> that's, so, that's so sad! Jean, we feel bad for this Roll one. Roll the head. Uh, 18. Low roll, you kill it anyways. How would you like to do this? Uh, that is 28 necrotic damage. <laughs> Don't want to... <laughs> Wait, is it immune to necrotic damage? Wait a second. <laughs> oh no, did I, I fucked up, didn't I? Wait a second. No, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh shit, that got way too close then. <laughs> All right. This final thing, it falls to pieces after being tortured and punished. <laughs> He was already tortured and punished anyways. The chamber is now silent. Uh, 
So. Oh, you're still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am still alive. All right, buddy, you're coming with us. <laughs> oh no, I I don't think I'm much used to you. Oh uh, no, you're you're gonna be super useful. Yeah, I promise. Just knock him out, please. It'll be non-lethal, but I'm just gonna smash. Yeah. Please. All right, I'm gonna roll to hit. You're gonna what? Roll to hit non-lethal. Oh, okay. With reckless. <laughs> yeah, that's a twenty-two to hit. I feel like. We've kind of been clowning on this guy, but I, I also feel like he's probably got way more HP than we think he does. <laughs> this is the actual final boss. So, yeah, he's unconscious. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So he's just, so he just goes limp. You guys are just in this nice, this giant lavish chamber. Can um, can we just get out of here with him? Hold on, hold on. I want to. There's. It looks like there's stuff on the desk. Let me go <laughs> check it out before we leave. Five hundred gold, and just some notes about potentially going over to a neighboring town to getting some more to look for more souls, and also you recognize uh, Halera. You recognize the contract for the mission to come to here. There's a couple of these flyers actually to look to investigate Crackwood. Oh. Uh, but in a flash of light, behind, there's a flash of light behind you guys as Rollum pops up. Oh, I'm here now. Hi. Firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. I, I rolled a 12. I th I'm pretty sure I missed. Yeah, you, yeah, you missed. He kind of just dodged it. What? Is, why? What are you doing? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I do not believe I so. don't appreciate being fucked with. <laughs> Neither do I. Was this a hard mission? It's a check. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> That's a natural one for a total of six. <laughs> you can't get a read on him, really. He's shocked. He looks shocked. Well, why are your eyes glowing anymore? And to be quite honest with you, it was very rude of you to send those and to point at the corpses. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't my eyes glowing anymore? Yeah, they were red. <laughs> no? Yes. And he's, he's going to point at the Kuatoa. Oh, fuck, no, he's unconscious. <laughs> Damn it. I'll wake him back up, it's fine. <laughs> Explain yeah. what happened yeah. to you. You... You... are the being that the Kuato are worshipping. No. You are this gatherer, or whatever the hell. I think I would be... Aware of said? You you would sure. think. <laughs> okay, what did you see? You. You took off your mask. Your eyes were going red, and it was you. He's gonna sit up straight. He's. Leodan's gonna like look over, the, like walk over to him with like the papers. That have been on the desk. He's gonna look down. He's yeah. He's gonna look at them. Oh. Um. Oh, so you said something about realities and stuff. Um, that like I haven't fully processed yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I do not appreciate being lied to about. Oh no no no! None of that was important. <laughs> that you can ignore. <laughs> This is 
Not good. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Um. So is this like? What have you done? Is this one of those situations oh. where like if we kill you now that you don't become that? Do you have an evil twin? I've always wanted to meet somebody with an evil twin. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, okay. That would have been great <laughs> to know. <laughs> no, earlier. he's. He's. <sighs> oh gosh. That is the first spell that I ever made. You did a bang up job on that one. I am aware. <laughs> uh, the magic that I use is very chaotic. It is literally rhyme and reason. And well, it is taken very specifically. Uh, no, it is. You ha- you can't be- You have to be literal in every single method. So... When you... When you create a spell to clone yourself with this untamed magic, it's probably best that you put in the portion of it that you have control over said clue. I forgot that part. And, well, yeah. There's a gap in my memory. I remember that we fought and I remember that he did something and my father had locked him away. And obviously he's not locked away anymore. No. You brought up realities. He was literally in the reality where he could not escape. And now that's concerning because he that means he's here, and that means I'm here, and that means we're both here, and we can't be here together. Also, the Kuatoa apparently can't make gods anymore or something. Why not? You tell me. <laughs> he's going to look down at the... Unconscious, unconscious still? Did you actually wake up? Try to wake I'm him up? Trying no. To, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not being gentle with it. Make me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go ahead and make me a medicine check. I'll just go over there and slap him with the cure wounds. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, okay. That's actually enough. Um, yeah, you wake him up between you and Leo Dan. You wake him up. He's gonna stand over. Um. Why can't you worship a god? No, or why can't you... Why aren't you be able to create another god? And he'll, like, explain about how the other god was killed. And... And... The difference since that happened, we couldn't. I guess that makes sense that they cannot... That they can only worship... That they, whatever energy they... Have... It's only used to create one being, I suppose. Does that make sense? It could also be that they themselves no longer believe that they have the power to create gods. Hmm. Or a combination of since their god died, their faith in being able to create powerful gods has also died. I suppose when collecting the gatherer gathering what so uh there's a bunch of yellow and blue souls downstairs there's actually a 
portrait of you as well that we could probably go take a look at if you wanted reference for what your other self appears as. Just don't mind the broken glass. Ye There's a bit of it. This is a lot. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. I'm glad we're on that page together, at least. So he was building those things. He's gathering souls. Why? Uh, if I had to guess, he owes a debt to whatever let him out. If you claim he was in a reality that he could not escape from, something else had to have let him out. I'll have to go look, or send my father to look. He's the one that trapped him there in the first place. Ugh. Well, that was definitely not... That's definitely something I didn't think of dealing with. Past mistakes. Um, well, anyways. I have... Yes? I also have a question for you. Answer for how you. Come, how come, I, before I met you, I seem to have had a vision of your so-called clone? So that's why... You know why... what that would be? So that's what is special about you. What do you mean? Well, uh, to put it bluntly, when this reality was created, it was in such an unusual manner that there was a bunch of excess, well, creation magic extra dimensional energy that didn't have anywhere to go everything kind of exploded into being and with it all this energy formed as well and I guess you have a good portion of it living with within you and it's letting you be connected to this dimension and potentially out others as well you have visions you said I've had a couple just past present future it's, it seems to be from the past but it seems like your clone can also <laughs> communicate with me uh oh What's the answer, Jonah? <laughs> That's a good question. I didn't think about it. You don't have to have an answer. At oh, least not no. immediately. <laughs> I don't have an answer. Oh, my gosh. That's, fine. That's okay. I didn't think about that specifically. For <laughs> him specifically. Yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's totally fine. Uh, Leo Dunn was trying to scan uh, yeah. Roland with the divining rod. Ah! For now, it is a dull blue, but it's like it can't make up its mind. Sure. Oh. It's just green. It's like a green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say you were blessed with a gift, I suppose. And, well, it's very <laughs> random. <laughs> Look, it's 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 a it's a rare chance, Lou Dan. I I don't know, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Sorry, what? <laughs> Anyways, thank you everyone for helping with this. Um, I'm sorry it caused a lot of pain and frustration. Do we get to keep him? <laughs> Well, bring him back to the mansion as a butler. <laughs> oh man, sure. It could be interesting to study as to why they can't make gods. My father does need a live specimen. 
Yes. I suppose you can keep him. But... Just be careful. I'll have to figure out how to deal with this and... Well, how to deal with my past mistakes. So, for now, um, I'm sure the neighboring cities would be... We have to deal with the other Kotoas, but I think once they hear that the Gatherer is no longer here, and the Priestess is gone, Priestess, Priest is gone, then I think that might clear up on its own. Although... Mm, then again, they might just go insane. Well, they already are kind of insane, so it doesn't matter. Anyways. Well, um... You all want a... Gosh darn it. You all want a uh, spell back home? Uh, that would be nice. That'd be lovely, yes, considering yeah. we don't know the way back home. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's, the mansion is in... <laughs> and he's like, and, he's, and he gather you all around... You you teleported us to the woods. <laughs> yeah, the, mansion, the mansion is in central non-existia. Uh, we're in Easter, and he like starts to gather all of you around. <laughs> um, and he like he grabs like he grabs like your shoulder, Leah Dan, and he grabs your shoulder as well, uh, Halara. And your eyes go shooting back into your head again. <gasps> and you soar through this these these patterns of light of, of of bright color to just utter darkness you look around and you're following this brightly dressed uh noble looking uh individual uh, you look at him for a moment, and you just, he just, you see a little bit of Rolam in him, and you're assuming this must be maybe his father. Okay. He's walking in this, can you call it a forest? Everything looks black and dead and dying. Nothing seems to be alive. There's no chirping of crickets or chirping of crickets or or any scurrying of any wildlife whatever it is just dead you follow him as he's walking down this path to that brings him in front of a crudely built cabin he stands in front of it and he just opens the front door and walks in you follow behind him. He walks in and looks around the cabin. Small, meager furnishings, all very crudely built. It's like if you decided to try and chop down a tree and make a bench out of it, you might not have the best chance, but you may do. He walks in, takes a look around looks over to a separate room. Cautiously makes his way over. You can tell that he something's making him nervous. He hugs the wall and slides up and peers into the room. And there you see, on the bed, a body, a corpse with jet black hair and red eyes wide open a bloody mess his chest entirely ripped open and his heart missing and that's all I have for all of you Whoo. Well, that's good. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Oh, and we have a winner, actually. Um, if where's where's this where's the scores? Um, would all of you like to know your secret objectives that you were competing for? Yeah. 
So. Thank you. So. So, Ben, McKay, uh, sorry. Leo Dan, Leo Dan, Halora, and Amelia each had a different secret objective. Amelia, your job was to successfully grapple twice. And you actually succeeded in doing that. Um, Liu Dan, you needed to successfully use the Churn Undead feature, which you did. Uh, do, 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 do. Halara, you were supposed to successfully use uh, Stunning Strike twice, and you did. And some <laughs> of the other point, the, the regular secret projectives that you guys did not know was who deals the most, who dealt the most damage out of the entire night, who took the most damage out of the entire night, <laughs> who healed the most damage out of the entire night, who passed the most checks, and who failed the most checks. <laughs> and with tallying up all of these different points, the winner for this year's game show of notes is Halara. Congratulations. <gasps> your first day de your debut on to the one on the challenges of existence, and you win the game. There are certain things that are well not solved yet. There are some theories going around. Liu Dan, I didn't think of that. That's a really great theory, actually. <laughs> about Ali and Nash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually feel a little bad because that's solid. That is extremely solid theory. <laughs> I love it. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. This unfortunately means that it is the end of Nope November, and I'm sorry for keeping you all up and awake, but hopefully it was well worth it. So without further ado, thank you, everyone, for joining us. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't worry, we'll be back here next year. We'll have more nopes for all of you, more spooks, more scares, and more mysteries to be solved. But until then, all of you have a good night. I need to address and ask a toque a question. Ooh. Okay, so in vibe a toque, get in his shoes. In the one shot that I just did for for the for the finale. The call the, the, the cult in the the cult in the one shot, their job is like collecting souls and the bad bad guy is using them as like batteries. Now, okay. when the dimension was created, certain people basically got supercharged with like this creation energy magic uh, that the main bad guy called Perfected Souls. Mm -hmm. And he made an item, the, uh, like a wand, that the cult members use to scan people to see if they just are a regular soul or perfected soul. Now... One of the one of the player characters got their hands on the wand, and at the towards the end of the one shot, um, tried to use it on Rolam Rengate. Now, as the son of a Took Rengate, what would the wand do? Uh, if it would if it registers an increase of energy in a regular human, it's going to light up because that would, uh, Rollum, that would make, that means they have a divine spark in them. You know, they have Rollum, Rollum Rengate would be the same as, say, Hercules or, or, or at least Percy Jackson. Uh, um, All right. I'll go with Percy Jackson. He'll have that much of a divine spark in him, so it should register it.